what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Big Bouquet. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, a toy dinosaur. Why don't we go and visit some real dinosaurs? Yeah, in Dinosaur Valley. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate leapt out of their magical box in search of a giant adventure in Dinosaur Valley. And as they marveled at the valley's beautiful flowers, Kit and Kate heard someone crying. Look, it's a little dinosaur. <laughs> Hi, what's wrong? It's Mother's Day, and I don't have anything to give my mom as a present. And she's gonna be here soon for our picnic. <laughs> Does your mother like flowers? She loves them. This meadow is her favorite place in the whole world. She says it's like sitting in the middle of a big bouquet. Then why don't we pick your mom her own bouquet of flowers? She'd love that. Great. Let's pick some yellow flowers. <laughs> Look, Kate, isn't that pretty? Yeah, but wouldn't it be nicer with more flowers? You're right. Let's add blue flowers. Your mother will love it. Let's do it. Great, but it'll look even with a lot of red flowers, too! <gasps> yeah! <gasps> oh, no! Look at our flower meadow! It's ruined! My mother is going to be so upset! How can we have a picnic now? I, I know! We'll just put some flowers back! See? Good as new! <laughs> oh no! It's my mother! We better run! Oh, my meadow! <laughs> and then along came a mysterious stranger. Why is the little dinosaur crying? Today is Mother's Day and she didn't have a present for her mother. So we thought we could pick flowers from the flower meadow. What a lovely idea! Where is the flower meadow? Right there. There? But there aren't any flowers there at all. Not anymore, because we pick them all. Why did you do that? Well, first we had a small bunch of flowers. But we thought it would look better with more flowers. And did it? It looked great, but now the meadow looks terrible. Wait, I get it. Maybe a bigger bouquet does look better than a little one. But taking all of the flowers sure makes the meadow look a lot worse. Yeah, if you take more than you need, then there's nothing left to enjoy later. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we won't pick more flowers than we need. That way the dinosaur will have a pretty present and a beautiful place to enjoy it with his mom. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their dinosaur adventure all over again. But this time when they collected flowers, they made sure not to take too many. One, two, three! Perfect! Here comes my mother! Happy Mother's Day! Why, thank you. Mom, these are my new friends, Kit and Kate. Well, hello. Hello. We have a present for you. Go on, Kate. Show her. We picked you some flowers. But not too many. Oh, they're lovely. And with so many flowers left in the meadow, Kit, Kate, and the dinosaurs felt like they were playing in the middle of a big bouquet. The Candy Kingdom. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, a book of fairy tales. Ooh, let's go to Candy Kingdom and be part of our own fairy tale. 
sweet. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate left right into Candy Kingdom, the sweetest place you could ever imagine. Only something was wrong. Please help me! Look! Up there! What's wrong, fair maiden? I'm being held prisoner by the evil witch, and when she gets back, she's going to turn me into a frog. Don't worry, we'll save you. Kit, let's find the door. You go that way. Oh, oh. I didn't see any door. Me neither. Then how can we rescue the maiden? <gasps> Wait right here. Let's toss one end of this licorice vine up to the maiden. Then she can climb down. Good thinking! Oh, it's not long enough. You stay here. I'll find something else. I can use this candy cane like a pole and jump into the window. Great idea. But how will you two get back down? Bad idea. Fair Maiden, what do you have in your tower? Well, I have lots of marshmallows. Perfect. Throw some down. What are we going to do with marshmallows? We can stack them to make stairs. Stairs. I love it. Down below. <coughs> hey. Fair Maiden, we need more. <coughs> what are we going to do? We've tried everything. This is terrible. It's worse than terrible. Here comes the witch. Well, hello, fair maiden. Hmm. Sorry I'm so late getting back. We'd better get hopping. <laughs> oh, no. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why are you so sad, kitties? We couldn't save the fair maiden. And now she's a frog. Why couldn't you save her? We tried using everything we could find, but nothing worked. Yeah, the licorice vine was too short. And we would have gotten stuck up there if we used the candy cane like a pole. And a big bird ate our marshmallow stairs. See? We tried everything. It sounds to me like you tried everything one way. What do you mean? Wait, I get it. If we can think of different ways to use what we have, maybe we can find an answer. Yeah, and I already have a great idea. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hurry, Kate. We've got a maiden to save. Now, now we, we know, know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again. But this time, they tried using what they had in a much more creative way. Don't worry, we'll save you. Go ahead, tie the vine to the stick. Right. What are you two fishing for? You'll see. Now we need a marshmallow. I've got some up here. Then throw one down, quick. <laughs> OK, Kate, follow me. Here, birdie birdie. It's working! Jump on, Kate! <laughs> Climb aboard, fair maiden! Your carriage has arrived! You really saved me! Oh, you two kittens are the sweetest! Ah, oh, shucks! And Kid and Kate flew the fair maiden back to her castle, where she lived happily ever after. The cat elephant. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, a ball. That's not a ball, Kate. That's a dragoon egg. No way. What's a dragoon? They're like dragons, but they float like balloons. Wow. Then let's go find a dragoon and ride it. See you soon, big dragoon. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate set out to find a dragoon. They looked everywhere for one. Dragoon! Where are you? Hey, Kate, did you find them? No, but I found three pop cows. 
One, two, three! <laughs> Quick goofing off, Kate. We need to find that dragoon. Oh, where are you? Then Kit saw someone who might be able to help them. Excuse me, do you know where we can find a dragoon? Sure I do. Great! Oh, um, what are you? I'm a catelephant. I know all about dragoons. Do you want me to help you find one? His nose is so strange. Yeah, but he seems friendly to me. Well, he makes me nervous. I think we should go. Um, thanks, Catelphin, but I think we're going to keep looking for that dragoon ourselves. It's my nose, isn't it? I thought it'd be fun to play together. It's so much more fun with friends. Aww. Now, where is that dragoon? Kate, come here! Look, a dragoon! See, we didn't need that cat elephant. Wow, a real live dragoon. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it sounds like the cat elephant. He sounds really sad. We should go find him. Kit and Kate followed the crying to a cave. He's in there. <laughs> I was only trying to be nice. Hey, cat elephant, please come out. Go away! We're sorry. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, I ruined everything. No good telephone, no dragoon, no fun. I feel terrible. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were searching for a dragoon, and then we met a good elephant who knew all about them. But I was scared of his long nose, so I didn't want him to play with us. That made him really cry. Was he friendly? Yeah, he seemed very friendly. Then what difference did it make what his nose looked like? None, I guess. Now I understand. It doesn't matter what someone looks like. What matters is if they're friendly or not. Yeah! Thanks, Mom. Oh, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. I'll be a lot nicer this time. Me too. Now, now we know, know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their search for a dragoon again. But this time when they met the cat elephant, I know all about dragoons. Do you want me to help you find one? Sure. It's much more fun with friends. Look, that dragoon is so big! There's enough room on there for you, me, and our new friend to all ride together. Let me show you how I ride him. Wow, that's cool! Hop on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Woo! Thanks for playing with me. Sure. Everything's much more fun with friends. Kit and Kate had a new friend and a great day riding the Dragoon together. Ho down, slow down. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, a guitar. And a violin. Let's play music for a big barn dance. Yeah, a big country hoedown. Go, kitty, 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 let's go! Kit and Kate ran with their instruments to a great big ranch. It looked like just the perfect place for their concert. Morning, strangers. What can I do for you? We'd like to use your barn for a hoedown tonight. We'll play the music. Why, sure. Hey, and there's paper and paint in there so you can make a banner to let everyone in town know about it. Great idea. Thanks, Thanks ma'am. Ma Come on, Kit. Let's go and make that sign. I'm sure everyone's going to come to the hood on when they see this sign. Kit and Kate got started on their big banner. They were so excited about their concert, they didn't notice some unexpected visitors. <laughs> and how are you 
today, Missy. I'd say she's hungry. Hey, Shoo, don't eat our paintbrushes. We need them to paint our banner. Hey, stop that. Those are our instruments. We need them for the concert. <laughs> I guess he's a music lover. Lunch time, come and get it. Oh boy, I'm hungry. Me too. Kid and Kate ran inside and sat down for lunch. The food was so delicious that they didn't notice what was happening right outside. Thanks for lunch, lunch ma'am. Ma Come on, Kate, we've got work to do. Oh no! Our sign is ruined. And the paints and brushes are missing, too. It must have been that hungry cow. Oh, well, we'll just play the concert without the sign. Kate, the violin is missing. The mouse, he took it underground. And look. The cow probably stepped on it. There goes our hotel. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why so sad, little cowpokes? We can't play our big hoe down tonight. What happened? We were working on our sign and the lunch bell rang. So we ran inside, but while we were eating, it rained and our sign got ruined. Well, at least you still got your instruments. No, we don't. Some animals ruined them. There must have been something you could have done to stop your stuff from getting ruined. No, there wasn't. You can't stop the rain. Or those pesky animals. Hey, I get it. Maybe you can't stop the weather or the animals, but you can put your things away where they'll be safe. Thanks, Dad! Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kate. But this time, let's not leave our things where they can get rained on. Or stepped on. Or chewed up. Or stolen. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate grabbed their instruments and started their hoedown adventure all over again. But this time when the lunch bell rang... Lunch time! Come and get it! We'll be right there! Just as soon as we put away our things, where they'll be safe. Look, Kate! It's raining outside. Good thing we put everything away. As soon as the rain stopped, Kid and Kate finished their banner and hung it up for the whole town to see. And when evening came round, those kittens put on a hoedown that just wouldn't slow down. Don't be shellfish. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look at diving suits. Let's be deep sea divers at the Great Rainbow Reef. Yeah! Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and started diving to the ocean bottom. They'd never seen anything like it before. <laughs> it's beautiful! Hi, fish. Kate, look! A mermaid! Hi, Miss Mermaid. What a pretty necklace you've got. Thank you. One... Two, three, four, five pearls. Where did they come from? Right over there in the oyster beds. These pearls grow inside the oysters. Hey, Kit, let's collect five pearls and make a beautiful necklace. Yeah, for Mom. Are the oysters nice? They were nice to me. But just remember, the oysters love their pearls very much. Thanks, Miss Mermaid. Look, every oyster has a pearl. This will be easy. Oh. Kit, they're yawning. We better ask them for their pearls before they fall asleep. Why bother them? We'll just wait till they fall asleep and take them. But she said they love their pearls very much. They won't mind. They're for a beautiful necklace. That's true. They're asleep. Wine. 
Two, three, four, five. Five pearls! Hooray! Hey, 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 hey! They took our pearls! Get those kitties! Swim fast! Ah, help! Kate, look! <laughs> Then along came a mysterious stranger. Well, you two kitties sure look shaken up. What happened? I don't know. All we wanted to do was make a pearl necklace like the mermaid has. But the oysters started chasing us and trying to bite us. Wait, you asked for their pearls and then they chased you? Well, we didn't exactly ask. Why not? We didn't want to bother their nap time, so when they fell asleep, we just took them. Well, were they glad you took their pearls and let them sleep? Glad? Mad is more like it. But why did they let the mermaid take their pearls? She must have asked them first, because she knows they love their pearls. Hey, I get it. If something doesn't belong to you, you should never take it without asking. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kit, let's try again, but this time we'll make sure to ask for permission. Instead of just taking. Now, now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again, but this time when they reached the oysters... Sorry, I see you're about to take a nap. But we'd like to make a pearl necklace for our mom. And we'd be really thankful if you could give us some of your beautiful pearls. Sure! sure. Thanks! Kit, it worked! One, two, three, four... You don't want to give up your pearl, do you, little guy? Uh -uh. It's okay. We understand. Thanks anyway. Doesn't this feel better, Kit? It sure does. Come on, let's ask the next oyster. Could we please have your pearl, Mr. Oyster? You got it. It's huge! And Kit and Kate strung the pearls into a beautiful necklace for Mom. Look, Mom, five pearls! Yeah, but the real pearls are you and Kit for being so nice to the oysters. And to me. <laughs> <laughs> me oh my blueberry pie. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate's sailor hats. We can play sailors. Yeah, we'll sail to Blueberry Pie Island. Yay! I love Blueberry Pie more than anything in the whole world. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Me oh my! Blueberry Pie! Me oh my! Blueberry Pie! Kit and Kate were so excited to go to Blueberry Pie Island that they could already smell the pies waiting for them. I can smell the pies! The boat to Blueberry Pie Island leaves when the time is three bells. Don't be late. Three bells. The first bell, Kate. Let's hurry. But Kate forgot all about pies after she spotted a pretty butterfly. He looks like you, Kit. Ha ha. Not now, Kate. We'll miss the boat. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Me oh my. Blueberry pie. Me oh my. Blueberry pie. Me oh my. Kate? Now where had Kate gone? One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three! Kate! You can't catch me, Kate! <laughs> Hold still! <laughs> two bells? Hurry, Kate, we'll miss the boat! Right, sorry. Bye, ducks! Kid and Kate got back on the path, and the smell of blueberry pies grew even stronger. Me oh my! Blueberry pie! Me oh my! Blueberry pie! Me oh my! Kate? Kate was missing again. <sighs> hey, Kit, look what I can make! A hula skirt! Kate? Now a big brown bear! Grr! <sighs> I'm the oldest man in the world. <laughs> Come on and play, Kit. Kate will miss the boat. Huh? I have.
got the oldest ears in the world. I can't hear you. <laughs> ah! That's three bells. Come on. All aboard. Kit and Kate finally made it to the dock, but it was too late. Sorry, kids. Have to leave with three bells. Oh, no. It's not fair. <laughs> then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, young lady? I want to go to Blueberry Pie Island, but we're too late. Why are you late? Because on the way here, there were so many fun things to do. That sounds nice. Yeah, but not as nice as Blueberry Pie Island. And now we can't get there. I see. Well, what could you do differently if you could try again? Uh, I guess I'd remember that I can't always do everything I want if there's someplace I need to get to on time. I understand. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. I want to go to Blueberry Pie Island. Me too. Now we know, so back we go. This time, Kate understood that if you need to get somewhere on time, sometimes you can't do everything you want. Sorry, no time for butterflies. Me oh my! Blueberry pie! I'd love to bounce with you ducks, but we've got a boat to catch. One. Kit. <laughs> Me oh my. Blueberry pie. No time for dress up today. We're going to Blueberry Pie Island. Me oh my. Blueberry pie. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys. You're right on time. I was just about to ring three bells. Can I do it? Sure. Ring it three times. All aboard! And Kid and Kate sailed off to Blueberry Pie Island at last. And they had a very, very good time. Time to climb. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit. Climbing hats and backpacks. We can climb Swiss Cheese Mountain. Are you sure you can do it? That's a big mountain. Of course I can. I'm a big girl. Okay then, to Swiss Cheese Mountain. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate set off on their big adventure. They walked through Butter Valley and over the Milky River until they reached what they were looking for. Here it is, Swiss Cheese Mountain. I want to climb all the way to the top. It's not too scary for you, is it, Kate? No way. I'm not a baby. Okay, then. Let's start climbing. Hands come first. Feet come two. Up, up, up. yodel a -e hoo <laughs> <laughs> Kate and Kate climbed and climbed until they reached the plateau. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look, that cloud looks like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fish! <laughs> this is awesome! Let's slide on down and do it again! Then Kate noticed another path that led even higher. Hey, Kit! I want to climb all the way to the tippy top! We can't! That part's only for big kitties. Look at the sign. You see, Kate? We're not big enough to go up higher. I'm no baby. I can do it. But it's not safe for kids. Let's go take the slide down and climb again. It'll be fun. Okay. You go first, Kit. Sure. Kate? Kate? Where did you go? Oh, no, Kate! I don't care what Kit says. I can climb it. I'm no baby. Kate, wait! Hands come first, feet come too. See, I can do it. I knew I was big enough. Okay, hands come. Uh. Hands come. Uh. Uh. Kate, come down right now. It's not safe. I can't. I'm stuck. Uh. Oh, no! Now we're both stuck. What do we do? 
Then along came a mysterious stranger. Hey, what are you doing up here? This area isn't for kids. Didn't you see the sign? Yeah, but I wanted to prove I'm not a baby. No, of course not. You're a big girl, but part of being big is being smart enough to stay safe. Aw, but I wanted to have fun. Well, did you try the slide? That's for kids. I want to do the stuff that big kitties do. <laughs> That's funny, because I wish I was still little enough to go on that slide. It used to be my favorite. Really? Yeah, but I can't go on it anymore because I'm too big. It's just for you kids. And probably a lot more fun for kids than being stuck right here. <laughs> That's for sure. I made a big mistake. I thought that playing on stuff for kids means you're a baby. But really, it just means you're playing smart. I get it. Thanks, Dad. Uh, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to try the day over the smart way. Now that sounds like a big girl. Now, now we know, know, so back we go. Kid and Kate set back out for Swiss Cheese Mountain. But this time, Kate decided she was going to have some big-time fun made especially for kids. Hands come first, feet come too. Up, 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 up your leggy foot. <laughs> <laughs> it sure looks like fun. I can't wait until I'm big enough to try. But for now, the last one down the slide is a rotten egg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait for me. Woo! And Kid and Kate had big time fun made just for kids. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs>